disturbing detail, one tiny one that may not be related. Some people were at a Christmas party. Now, you could put two and two together. You start piecing the evidence together if you're a crime scene investigator. Hmm, three men unidentified. Hmm, Christmas party, Farouk Saeed. Farouk Saeed, hmm. I wonder, I just wonder, am I allowed to even think that? Well, you wouldn't dare say it to your superior. No, if you work for DHS, you would never kick that up to the mean-faced, uh, clipped-haired woman who you report to. No, 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 you would never say that because you'd lose your job. So don't even suggest it if you're in the DHS or the FBI. Sit there like a dummy and make believe you don't know. Wait for the geniuses at the top to tell you what to think. Wait until the great president gives a speech before you say anything about who possibly could have done this or where they're hi hiding. At least that's what I'm thinking. This is Michael Savage. I'll be back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by Swiss America, the only company I trust with my financial future. Call 800-289-2646 or Swiss America. Hey, let's talk about the breaking news because there's only a few outlets reporting this. And I cannot confirm this, but it is news. We all know about the shooting in San Bernardino. Everyone's showing the same pictures. Suspects got away after blasting the place up, killing at least 12. No one knows who did it. And now we get this from Twitter, at News on the Minute. Breaking news, a man named Farouk Saeed is a possible suspect that's coming off the police scanner according to the Twitter feed. I cannot confirm it, but I have an obligation to read this to you. Breaking news. A man named Farouk Saeed is a possible suspect. Apparently this came off the police scanner. If we get more information, I'll give it to you. Now you put the pieces together. Masks, automatic weapons, shooting innocent people in a handicap center, getting away without a, 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 a shot being fired at their car by the, by the police. What is this picture? How did the police not fire at the escaping car? How? What, they were waiting for a rules of engagement from the sorority? They have to find Governor Brown? What was he, on, a, on cloud nine somewhere? Was Moonbeam communicating with the moon? Who were they waiting for? No helicopters? They chased O.J. Simpson's car for 12 hours, 6 hours. Where's the helicopter? I've seen police helicopters in L.A. on television stations for years. Chasing a speeding driver, a nut. Here's the people who shoot up a center like this and there's no police helicopter? Why? Tell me why. What is the rules of engagement don't permit helicopter chases anymore? When it woke people up from their, from their medical marijuana break? Something's wrong with this picture from top to bottom. John and WJ. It, uh, people need to take a step back from their emotions when they're looking at this stuff and think, look at it with a rational mind and... All right, so let's hear your rational mind. Tell me who would shoot up a handicap center with with uh, with, with automatic weapons. Pardon me? Oh, here we go again with the pardon me job. Tell me, let's hear John's rational mind from, from Detroit. Who would shoot up a handicap center with automatic weapons and escape like this? Who would do it? Well, it's, I think, terrorists, obviously, whether, whether there be from our borders or from beyond our borders people that are looking to cause destabilization all right so you're using rational not emotional thinking so how do you differ from me i i don't probably i think most of our country does though everybody wants to believe we live in some candy land or that that, that the fairy tale land is at least attainable uh what you're saying is that most people don't even want to accept that this could have happened and that ISIS or an Arab group of sympathizers could have done it if that turns out to be the case. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it, it is. I'll give you a perfect example. Our, our, our medical profession, people don't like to hear it, but they never say they're going to cure anything. They tell you they're going to treat it. Reason being, treating it makes money. Curing it cuts off money. We're, we're a capitalistic society, and I think if people... All right, so wait, okay, all right, I'm hearing you. I know the American Cancer Society... Uh, I've heard things about it since, since the early days in my years in, in, in the medical science uh, that the last thing they would want is a cure for cancer because they'd be out of business. I've heard the same rumor. 
but bringing the issue of terrorism to the forefront, you're making the same analogy. You're saying they don't want to cure it, they just want to treat it. Well, it, it certainly is a possibility. It, it seems that way. I mean, the, the medical profession itself, that's when they use their terminology. They never say they're going to cure anything. They I know, but we're talking now about terrorism around the world. We're talking about ISIS, which is a cancer that has grown because the chief surgeon, Barack Obama, is asleep or doesn't care what they're doing. And he's let the cancer metastasize now so that it's in every county in America, at least in every state, according to the FBI. So now the cancer has spread because the surgeon let it spread. Isn't that what you're saying? The chief surgeon, the chief hospital uh, manager, Barack Obama, said, don't worry about the cancer. I got it under control. Mindset. Our mindset in this country is not to fix things, but to make money from them. And if you look. OK, most hold it. People are still. No, this is not breaking news. People are still hiding in a nearby building, but uh, that doesn't mean those are the people who did it. All we keep hearing is that the suspects may have left the scene in a black SUV. That's all we're hearing now for well over an hour. Okay, let's use our rational mind. Let's use our rational mind. KBOI Radio. Ted, go ahead. You have an open microphone. Fire away. Put all the pieces on the table, Michael. Um, body armor. That body armor equals guns for hire. It, it, there's no personal conviction in body armor. Um, black SUV. Who drives around black SUVs are untraceable. Hmm. Um, who has a number one item on his bucket list to do with the Second Amendment? Hmm. Um, I can just go on and on. I mean, he. Our... All right, I know where you're going. A conspiracy theory. I know where you're coming from. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7287. We are following this crazy situation in San Bernardino. I'm watching the TVs. I'm reading every news site in the country. I have three people searching for it. As I speak, and the only information that we have that I'm not seeing on the TV screens is this. And it came to us from a Twitter feed at News on the Minute. Breaking news from a police scanner, a man named Farouk Saeed is a possible suspect. I cannot confirm that, but I'm not inventing it. They're now confirming, by the way, that the SUV has been found, that it was abandoned. Now that, that should give detectives some lead, I would think, unless it was just a stolen SUV. God only knows. L.A.'s filled with black SUVs. Every would-be producer has an SUV. Every fake Hollywood star has a black SUV. Every wannabe uh, individual in, in L.A. now has a black SUV. Well, who knows? Who did this? What do you think this is? I mean, everyone's going to say it looks like ISIS. That's what you're going to say. Let's take some callers. You know, you don't know which way to turn. There's not a bank robbery. Shooting up a, dis a disability center like this? With automatic weapons and right away the demagogues are screaming for gun control? Right away, immediately, Hillary Clinton, the demagogue, screaming for gun control before she knew a thing about it. Dianne Feinstein, the, queen, the suspicious, crazy queen of hearts, gun control. Martin O'Malley, the loser, the nobody, gun control. Cliff, WJR, welcome Give us your thoughts right now on this crazy story. Yes, Michael, as a 29-year police officer, I'm going to get right to the point. And a couple things we need to look at. Like you said, you're right, not to jump to conclusions. However, VOL, BOLOs, which we call Be On The Lookout For, does not come out just at random. Information was given to us, or law enforcement, by some entity for that name. So if somebody knew something or maybe knew something was planned and screwed up and information wasn't given out and they carried it out. Number two. Wait, 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 hold on. I missed the second part. Okay, again, from Twitter at News on the Minute, breaking news. A man named Farouk Said is a possible suspect off a police scanner. What are you saying about that? What I'm saying about that, that in a police scanner, most that information, a BOL, be on the lookout for, a person, a vehicle, or a name, that didn't just come out of the air. Somebody had to have intel, information that was given to our, not our, the police department to give that information out to the officers to be on the lookout for this person if you come in contact with him. Where did they get that from? Who knows? 
somebody might have fell asleep at the switch. I'm not jumping to conclusions. Maybe there was an imminent threat, and they just downplayed it because of. Oh, the- I hear you. Another. Oh boy. I hope. I hope. Oh my. I hope nothing. I hear what you just said. I hear what you just said. In other words, what they were following him, and he did it, and now suddenly they release his name after he did it. Or, or they had reasonable intelligence, but due to politics, we don't want to. Our guy in the White House doesn't want to scare people and make it political. They said, "Well, we're going to downplay this. We think it might happen, but we're just let let you know." And oh my God, it happened! Get that name out there now. We got to cover our tracks. Number two, the earmarks of Al Qaeda, soft target. What do you hit? You're in fast. You don't want to engage because I'm hoping to God this is not a prelude to something bigger. They're testing to see what our reaction is going to be to be able to counter that. With a soft target, you hit us in the heart. Hit disabled people, you hurt us. You go after the government, you go after police officers like us, that's okay. That's sad. That's bad. But we're cops. We're firemen, whatever, government. But you go after soft targets, Michael, what does that do? And you're in it. Well, well, I'll tell you what it does. It'll trigger a civil war in the country if the government doesn't do something very severe to the jihadists amongst us. If they do not preemptively drag them out by their filthy beards and arrest them before they do another act like this, there'll be a civil war in this country. I don't know how else to say it. It's something to look at, Mike, but I do like... If they're telling us... Wait. If I hear one more day that they know who they are, they're following them, because, but because of the vermin in the legal profession, because of the rats who have broken the cross off every war memorial, because of the filthy rats in the legal profession who have tied the hands of every agency in this country, if it turns out that they knew who this person was or these people were and they did not preemptively take them off the street by dragging them out through their, by their filthy beards, if that's what it turns out to be, there'll be a civil war in this country. The people can only take so much they're going to snap. Our hands are tied. You wouldn't believe the administration. Now, what if it turns out to be white Christian males with crosses named uh, uh, Ab- uh, Adam Jones? Now, why would they do that? Why would white Christian? What if it's a white Christian militia? Could they have possibly done this? Why would they do it? Sure, absolutely. At this point, absolutely. Anybody, absolutely. But when you give a name out like that to be on the lookout for, for law enforcement, there's a reason. They knew something. That's too fast, Michael. That's too fast. That is way too fast for a name to come out. I'm sorry. I've been doing this 29 years. And when you put a name well, out like that, uh-uh. Here's what's troubling. It came to me from a Twitter feed at News on the Minute. How reliable is that? Well, there again, exactly. What is it? I don't know. How reliable is the name Farouk Saeed? Farouk Saeed? Maybe it's a false flag. Maybe it's someone who hates Muslims who put it out on Twitter. After all, I think we better go to care before we say anything about a Muslim terrorist. We better get their permission to even speculate in an age of Arab terrorism. We better very be very careful and see if our good American-loving friends at CARE approve of our discussion and thinking. We have to go through that clearinghouse. We must absolutely do that. All right, look, very serious question. News conference coming up. From San Bernardino in minutes. I guess we'll run it live. If These news conferences are usually a waste of time. Stay in the line, my friend. I'm sending you government zero because, my friends, we have a zero government. I'm sad to tell you we have a zero government. It's a government of itself, by itself, and for itself. You know and I know that if the government is reporting that they have, what, how many individuals under surveillance who are possibly going to go off like a rocket? just as they did in Belgium, just as they did in France, and they do nothing out of cowardice and fear and liberalism, it's certainly possible that they had them on their radar. FBI, DHS, local police agencies. I can't name the alphabet agencies who may have been watching these shooters and are now going to have egg all over their face. They'll cover it up if they were. Do you think they're going to release a statement tomorrow saying, sorry, oops, sorry? Oops, sorry, we were watching them and we didn't know they would do it. I don't know. Boy, this is a terrible story. There are no winners here, by the way. There are no winners here. Let's be very clear. There are no winners in this story. They're only dead people and injured people. That's all there is. Now, we will watch the news conference. We'll play it on the show. But you know and I know nothing's going to come of the news conference. 
Let's take some callers. Joe on line two. Go ahead from KSFO in San Francisco. What do you think? Hey, Mike. Uh, I'm also working in law enforcement. I agree with your last caller pretty 